If you've ever used Google Forms, you've probably realized what a powerful way it is for capturing data from friends, family, and colleagues. To make the most of that data, you need to know how to best utilize it once it's imported into Sheets. And that's one of the issues that we're going to look at today. Here's one example of what we can do with Google Forms. We could create a timesheet where employees can enter their hours into a form and then have that data automatically imported into Sheets. While this is very helpful, time-saving and paper-saving compared to traditional timesheets, it does present a problem. Primarily, this comes when we try to apply a formula in order to work with our data. For example, say we wanted to tally up all the hours that someone worked in a week. Well, here's the problem. If someone new goes and logs their time in the timesheet and submits it, we will see that our existing sum formula that has provided totals for our previous entries did not apply to the new data that just got submitted via the form. This is because when a form is submitted, a row is inserted into the spreadsheet, meaning that any formula from above it are not carried through. However, there is a way to work around this. First, we're going to set up a second spreadsheet called totals. Now, we're going to use the query function, which will pull the data from our original spreadsheet into this new sheet. So, type equals query, and then go back to our original time tracking spreadsheet and highlight the rows that track the time of our staff members. When we go to our new sheet, we can see the complete formula, and when we hit enter, we will see our data populate. So, on the surface, this looks just like our other spreadsheet. I'm going to use the sum function in our totals column to add up the hours worked throughout the week and copy the formula throughout the column. So this still looks a lot like our original sheet, and you might wonder if we've actually helped ourselves. Well, let's go back to forms and submit a new timesheet. Now, when we go to our new spreadsheet, the use of the query function means that a row hasn't been inserted. Instead, the data has just been populated into the following cells. This means that the formula in the totals column hasn't been overwritten with blank cells, and so it automatically calculates the hour totals for our timesheets. There are a lot of other ways to apply this basic idea by combining the query function with the data you import from Google Forms. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks so much for watching.